So today we're going to work on a 3D movement that's actually useful. You could put this in a game and it would work, uh, even though I think it could use a lot more refining and there's a lot more that we're going to go over in the future, but this is a good starting point for making a usable movement. So looking at the script, we first off have a turn speed because I just wanted to have a different turn speed than what the movement speed was. Uh, 100 was just a little bit too fast. But then we'll have three variables that we're going to keep track of the rotation of our object opposed to using the rotate underscore x, y, z to directly change it. We'll keep track of it in a variable. And in the get input, we're just going to add and subtract the turn speed multiplied by the delta to the proper rotation that we are pressing. And then after we do that, we will directly set the rotational degrees to that variable. And this translate uh, is just to keep the ship moving forward at all times. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff commented out, and we'll get to that in just a second, but I want to show you what this looks like in itself, because it's not the same as the video I showed at the beginning. So as you can see, it it works kind of. It's better than before, at least we're not rotating and getting a weird orientation, but the movement is very awkward uh, and doesn't really make any sense. When you turn, it kind of goes off into the side. Uh, it's definitely not what we want. And so there's a quick and easy fix. I can't explain exactly what's going on, but I just made a variable. Well, first I made a just an extra spatial node here and called it movement guide. And I didn't do anything with it. I just needed as a reference. And instead of getting the transform of the player, I get the transform of the movement guide. So I just go movement guide dot transform basis uh, dot Z. And when we play that, as you can see, it it just works. And it's, this was definitely the easiest fix I could think of for making this work. I don't exactly know why. If somebody knows, in the, please put it in the comments. Um, but if you remember from the first video, there were a few extra things I added to the ship just to give it a little bit more of a feel and give more player feedback of what direction you're actually going. So one of the things that I'm doing is when I turn left and right, I want the ship to kind of lean in the direction that we are going. So I added some variables up here to see if we're turning left or right. And when we press the left and right button, I could just rotate it there, but I want the ship to level out if you're not pressing anything. So. Here we go, we have those. And then after we check to see if we're turning, we will plus or minus uh, the proper amounts. And like I said, this is basically just saying, um, if you're turning, you should turn in that direction. But if you're not, then we should be leveling back out. So. I also clamped the rotation, that way I can't do a barrel roll or anything. It's just going to uh, move slightly to both sides. And when we play that, it has a nice effect. And if you like this, it's fine. But it actually kind of makes me a little bit dizzy when I rotate this much. So I added a quick little line here also. Basically, I'm going to rotate the camera in the opposite direction that I'm rotating the ship. That way it stays in the same spot. And what you end up with is a lot smoother of a movement. But like I said, it, it adds a little bit of player feedback so the player knows which direction they're actually turning by how the ship is oriented. But it doesn't affect the movement really at all. It just shows uh, the ship in a more logical, position for turning in that direction. 
If you have any questions about this tutorial, please ask in the comments and we will continue to build upon these ideas and have more types of movement in the next videos. Uh, so uh, don't think that this is the end all of movement. There's a lot more to go over and a lot more refining to do on these ships.